What is Rumi's secret to inner joy? What if happiness wasn't out there? How do we break free from self-imposed limitations? از این اقبال گاه خوش مشو یک دم دلا تنها دمی مینوش باده جان و یک لحظه شکر میخوام Stay with us as we uncover Rumi's hidden map to true fulfillment a path that may just open a new door into your life Rumi begins Ghazal 55 with an invitation a call to the soul asking it always to be mindful of the divine fortune sip the wine of the soul a metaphor for divine love urging us to taste a sweetness that Rumi implies lies beyond the physical world تصورهای روحانی خوشی بی پشیمانی ز رزم و بزم پنهانی ز سر سر او اخفا Rumi hints at spiritual imagination a kind of joy that has no regrets He speaks of secret battles and hidden celebrations, things that only those who look inwardly will find. He's describing the inner journey, the highs and lows, the joys and struggles all happening in silence within our own souls. This joy that Rumi refers to is untouched by the regrets that often plague our daily lives, but only those who look inward uncover these hidden treasures. and then he warns us Rumi says that in every face every beauty we see there is only a single drop from an endless ocean he's asking can you be content with just a drop if the whole ocean is out there waiting for you malahat ha ye har chehre az an darya ast yek qatre be qatre sir kay gardad kasi kesh hast istisqa imagine seeing beauty feeling love and tasting joy Knowing that all of these things are just hints of something greater. This is Rumi's message. Do not be content with the mere glimpses when you are meant to experience the full brilliance. He says, we close our eyes asking, what is the bright day? But the sun has always been there waiting for us to open the door. تو دو دیده فرو بندی و گویی روز روشن کو زنت خورشید بر چشمت که اینک من تو در بخشا رومی is showing us that we don't have to wait for happiness for connection for fulfillment they are already within us waiting for us to awaken to them all we need to do is open our inner eyes shed our fears and stop seeking externally for what is right here In the end, Rumi's poem tells us that the path to true fulfillment doesn't lie outside. It is within, waiting for us to embrace it. The divine sustenance, the wine of the soul, is the joy that we experience by looking within. The sweetness that awaits when we let go of chasing happiness in the world around us. Rumi reminds us that every bit of beauty that we admire, every bit of joy that we taste, is just a drop from an endless source but that source is within our reach if only we dare to seek it so maybe the next time you find yourself empty unfulfilled or in search of happiness consider rumi's words perhaps what you are seeking isn't out there maybe it is waiting for you to turn inward to taste the sweetness of your own soul the moment we start embracing this inner wealth we begin to see that life itself even in its ordinary moments becomes infused with meaning and beauty if you wish to learn more about rumi's secret to finding eternal joy i invite you to watch our episode 23 thank you for joining us please like and comment to help the channel <laughs>